practicality and reliability, I want to have certain modern functions in my retro PC, such as file transfer by USB stick and a wireless mouse. If you have a Windows 98 machine, for example, odds are that your motherboard has only USB 1.0 or 1.1 ports. What you need is USB 2.0, and luckily, there's a fairly easy solution. These USB 2.0 PCI expansion cards. They are very easy to find and they are very cheap. Then you need a wireless mouse with a nano receiver. Just make sure it's not a Bluetooth mouse. You'll also need a driver called NUSB36E.exe, which you can download from Phil's computer lab, for example. Just copy the file into a floppy or burn it on a CD. However you prefer, I like to keep my, uh, all my drivers and tools in one CD. After putting the USB 2.0 card in your computer, boot up and install any drivers that your PC asks from your Windows 98 CD. Then just double click the NUSB36E.exe, click OK and restart your computer. Now, you just have to put the nano receiver from your wireless mouse into the USB socket and Windows will instantly start looking for drivers. Let it install them from your Windows 98 installation CD and after a moment your wireless mouse is ready for use. To get USB storage devices working, just plug your USB stick into the USB socket. Windows immediately starts to build driver information database and soon the USB storage device should appear into my computer. You can use your wireless mouse through your motherboard's original USB 1 ports but the connection will be disjointed and unreliable. Also, USB 2.0 will have 20 times faster file transfer than USB 1. Well, there you have it. This is a cheap and easy way to make retro gaming a little bit more easier. See you guys later.